Hey, what's going on guys? So if you're a fan of the anime cat maid girl trope, then you should surely enjoy the Guilty Princess Maidroid line here from Max Factory. This is the third release in the line. Chloe, we're going to be taking a look at her in today's review. Let's go ahead and get started. Taking a look at the box art here for the Maidroid, it is in vertical format and decently sized box, so there's going to be a fair amount of stuff in there. Once again, the character, of course, is in that same Maid Cat style, like we saw with the Meow in my previous review of the Maidroid series. But it's a nice illustration there of the character, and then you can see her signature weapon or accessory there being this vacuum, which I'm sure obviously is going to transform into more of a weapon over here. On the side of the box, there is a photograph of the painted sample kit, so you can see how the kit is going to actually look compared to the artwork. I will say the face of the kit, the face of the artwork on the front, a little bit different, but I mean, that's pretty normal. But on the other side of the box, there's another look at the kit, just kind of different pose of that so you can get an idea of how the kit's gonna look. On the back side of the box, some more sample images of the kit in different poses so you can see a little bit more about it. There's the combined weapon over here, details of the head, so you have optional face parts there of course, and detail image of the back. Looks like we're gonna have some water slide decals here included as well. And there's a look at everything that you have included the main figure, some accessories, and a stand. And as is somewhat typical to a Max Factory release, we have a kind of different way that the box opens. You have a inner box, which slides out with all of your contents in here. So we've got our instruction manual right on the top, and it's in its own little bag. Water slide decals were also in there, so we'll just take a quick look at those. Basically eyes, uh, the heart and spades logos there, and some different numbers. Other different decals, which are basically for her accessory, I believe, so we'll take a look at those. But the instruction manual itself is going to be featuring the same box art there on the front, the Guilty Princess logo on the back. On the inside, just some more images of the kit, what it looks like all built and painted up. There, looking at her accessories, you can see where those interesting blue rectangle decals are going to go. But again, a look at the combined weapon there, what you can make if you have multiple kits from this series. You can combine parts to make that cool looking weapon right there. The next page is going to be our parts list. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of parts included in here. We got another image for the decal guy, which is basically just for the eyes, and then the logo, which kind of goes on that skirt section right there. Then we get into the construction. It looks like the entire manual is going to be in color, which is very cool. So that makes it just that much easier to read, that much easier to follow. I think it's uh, very easy to see what color the parts are that you need for each step along the way. So. I always like that when the instruction manual is all in color. And then here's how you can combine some of the parts if you have, again, multiple uh, kits from this line. You can combine the parts to make that weapon, which will be very cool. So I'll see if I can do that with what I have between this kit and the Meow. So here's a quick look at your pre-printed faces. The quality of these do look quite nice. We'll see how these look on the kit in just a moment. Some of other bagged parts here would be the unprinted face parts. So if you want to custom paint those or use different decals, you got your B runner there, which is a little piece in red. Our hand parts are also here, holding hands, closed fists, and open hands are gonna be your options for those. You also have your softer rubber piece here for the pants. In plain clear, you're gonna have your parts here for the base, the base plate and the arm for that. And then in a kind of smoky clear, you have runner M for some of these skirt parts, so some nice detail and design on those. Runners A and E are going to be all of your skin tone parts for the kit, and you have a little bit of pre-painting in black there for this piece right there. And the rest of the runners are either in white, black, or gold. So here's all your white runners, runner F, runner G, runner L, and runner K. So again, some really nice design on these, and you'll see this more once the kit is all built up, but just to kind of show off if I can, some of the molding detail on these parts is really quite nice. Next up, all of our black parts, including the hair, some of the parts with the hair here, runner Q, runner T for some joint parts, runner V for some arm parts, runner R for our black shoes, runner S for some more hair parts, as well as the cat tail and cat ears, and runner O for some of the clothing parts here as well, as well as hair parts and other stuff. And then we've got all of our molded gold runners. So we've got A, B for a couple little joint parts, there. A H for some hosing bits for the vacuum. We've got two of those. A G and the molded gold on these I should say does have that where you get like kind of that swirl in the plastic which some people don't like but I gotta say it doesn't look too bad if there's gonna be molded gold. There's runner AF 
and also earner W. So these are going to be parts not for the weapons, but some actual gold parts that go around on the main body of the kit. Alright guys, so here's the kit all built up. Gonna be a fairly simple construction process for this, very similar to like the Musume kits, kind of almost like the figureized kits from Bandai, or like the 30 Minute Sisters. Not quite as complex of construction as like one of the Kodobuki of Megami device or Frame Arms Girl line, but a little bit more simplified. But you do have a lot of really nice detail on there. Great looking character in general, nice face option parts and option parts in general, and, what, and weapon option parts as well. So let's go ahead and get into that because that's a pretty really interesting aspect of this kit. Our standard accessories being stuff like the hands, you got a set of closed fists, open hands like that, and also a set of holding hands. Our different face options which look really nice and we'll see some of those in action here shortly. And a couple of options here for the hair, just a different style of bangs for the front of the hair if you prefer. And then around the backside if you didn't want to have this bow and long ponytail there you have this uh, just kind of little bun hat there which can attach onto the back of the hat if you prefer that. Alternatively, just this single gold piece. So you have these two gold pieces which kind of go on the sides of the back of the head and then in the center of the back of the head you can plug this one onto there if you wanted to. Or you can plug like the, the ponytail like onto the side and plug this into the center or you can kind of mix and match. But basically the point is you have three hard points there in the top back of the head. The little bow here at the front, instead of that red bow piece, you have this option to make this little lock here for right at the front of her neck, similar to what we saw with the Maidroid Meow kit, if you guys remember that one. Then we have our base here, which is pretty nice. And you have multiple points for articulation here with that. You have two long pieces and you have two more pieces here, I guess you can use for if, uh, adding more length or more option parts to that, I guess. That's gonna plug into this keyhole up here in her back right there. Now, as for this like uh, set of skirt armor here, this can open up like that. And obviously there's some articulation here with these aspects of her skirt and you can just remove this whole section as well also the tail the tail is made up of a few sections so you can rotate that and change the pose of that as uh, you might like if you remove this section entirely then you have another hard point there if you prefer to plug the base right into there instead to just have her without that section of skirt armor there in which case these long coattails this section can move a little bit up and down like that you got some nice detail on that part as well and of course her main accessory is going to be the vacuum now here's like the machine part of that and here's like the vacuum wand you kind of have to really press this part to get this to stay straight and not be bent there but that part of the vacuum goes like that. Now to connect the two, you have some different options here. You have this long hose piece, which is just fixed in place, which I feel like is probably gonna be difficult to use depending on where you wanna plug this in. But if you wanted to plug it onto the front of here, which is kind of how it's meant to be, this one's kind of a, a bit awkward to use. I feel like you can kind of plug that in like that and then plug your vacuum wand part I'm guessing I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's what the correct word should be but you can plug it under there and that works pretty well for just like a stationary unit like that but then you have these other sections that you can kind of mix and match depending on the angle that you want for that and so these will fit together just with a small little peg that works pretty well but the peg is quite small so it's not like the strongest connection and you might break that kind of easily so I would just be a little bit careful with it. But you have some sections of this that are straight, some of them that are curved, some of them that are curved at a more extreme angle so you can see you have a number of different options that you can use with this and then that also gives you of course then rotation points so you can kind of form this in different ways. A couple of the little bits here too just like an extra little handle and a, a different attachment there for the vacuum that you might want to use and of course as we saw in the manual one of the things that you can do is combine parts from this set and with the Maidroid Meow and you can combine those parts together to make a different kind of larger gun weapon which is pretty awesome. And not only that but compatibility between the kits should be pretty easy as well as you can see the body is kind of mostly similar a little bit difference there in the chest and the arms are obviously different but like the main torso the legs are going to be basically the same there. You could swap the heads you can swap the faces the kind of uh, part at the top of the head is a little bit different there obviously the hairstyle is a little bit different so a lot of compatibility between the two kids if you wanted to mix and match things if you have a few from the series but there you have it guys another pretty interesting release here for this line guilty princess from max factory the vacuum weapon is certainly very unique and i do like that there's kind of a lot that you can do with it how it's made in a way that you know it's made to look a certain way like a vacuum cleaner basically but you, know, you can mix and match the parts to make it look kind of however you want they're all kind of parts that are you can do a lot of stuff with them and like i said if you have multiple kits 
from the line you can mix and match parts and you can combine parts to make different weapons and it shows you how to do that in the manual it's pretty simple to do so it does give you kind of a little bit extra incentive to collect multiple releases from the line rather than just buying one what are you guys thoughts on this one just as a standalone kit on its own what do you guys think about it uh, are you into the whole cat made aesthetic i've mentioned before the whole cat thing is not really for me but i know it's just a common aesthetic uh, with this type of stuff from japan and it's certainly something that sets this line apart from like the frame arms girl line the megami device line the 30 minutes missions line from other different companies musume kit lines this one is definitely unique with its aesthetic so i do appreciate that for sure and overall i feel like the amount of stuff that you get in the box is a good amount you get plenty of option parts you get a stand included so you kind of have everything you need and i don't really feel like I felt, you know, like there was something missing or like I wish there was something more. I think that's a good amount of stuff in the box, which is always nice to have. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about it? If you're interested in checking out the kits or anything else from Max Factory or other lines of Mecha Musume or just Musume lines of kits, we've got all that stuff for you guys at USA Gundam Store. The link to USA Gundam Store will be down in the video description below as always. So check out all the different stuff that we got there. And if you'd like to like and or subscribe, that would also be greatly appreciated. But thank you all so much for checking out the video today until next time hope you all are having a good week and i'll see you guys later bye bye